can I write a narrative reading response in sequential order? In this lesson, you will learn how to write a narrative reading response that has events that make sense by writing the events of the story in the correct order. We're going to continue working on our writing prompt, Tell the Story of Dr. Doolittle's Change to Becoming an Animal Doctor from Polynesia's Point of View. Be sure to establish the situation, include dialogue, sensory details, description, and a conclusion. Let's review the writing process. First, do a close reading and analysis of the text. Then, read the assignment and generate and plan. Then, draft and revise, and finally, edit and publish. We're in the draft and revise stage of the writing process. We've been using a graphic organizer called Story Mountain to help us plan our writing. Let's review sequence of events. We can write our story in the order that the events happen. We can use transitional words like first, next, then, and finally to help us to manage our sequence of events in our story. Let's look at the steps we'll need to take to complete this lesson. First, reread the sequence of events you planned on your graphic organizer. Next, think what actions and description of actions, thoughts, and feelings can I include to develop the sequence of events? And third, write the sequence of events including actions and descriptions. All right, for, so our first step is to reread the sequence of events we planned on the graphic organizer. So we said our beginning, we we're going to show Sarah being upset with Dr. Doolittle about losing his clients. Next, Cat's Meat Man suggests Dr. Doolittle be an animal doctor. Then Polynesia decides to persuade Dr. Doolittle to be an animal doctor. And Polynesia decides to tell Dr. Doolittle about animal languages. Now we need to think. What actions and description of actions, thoughts, and feelings can I include to develop the sequence of events? We are going to fill in our sequence of events from Polynesia's point of view. So we need to think back into the story about what, from her point of view, happened first, next, and so on. So at the beginning of the story, um, Polynesia saw the obvious love of animals that Dr. Doolittle had and she heard him say that he likes animals better than people. So let's jot that down for our first box. Polynesia notices Dr. Doolittle's love of animals and hears him admit he likes animals better than people. What I remember happening next is Polynesia overhearing the conversation between the cat's meat man and Dr. Doolittle and they're discussing the possibility of him becoming an animal doctor. So let's write that down for our second box. Polynesia listens to the cat's meat man and Dr. Doolittle's discussion about becoming an animal doctor. And then I remember Polynesia hearing that and then she decides to encourage Dr. Doolittle as well. So let's put that for our third box. Polynesia decides to encourage Dr. Doolittle to be an animal doctor. And finally, we know that Polynesia tells Dr. Doolittle about animal languages and that he ultimately does decide to be an animal doctor. So let's put that down for our fourth box. Polynesia tells Dr. Doolittle about animal languages and he decides to become an animal doctor. All right, let's move on to our third step and we are going to start putting together this sequence of events into a rough draft. In a previous lesson, we have already done this first step about um, with Polynesia. So we have this introduction already written. So we can move on to our second box. All right, I'm going to take what we wrote for the second box. Polynesia listens to the cat's meat man and Dr. Doolittle's discussion about becoming an animal doctor and put this into a paragraph. Dr. Doolittle had a visit from the cat's meat man. Luckily for us, he had a stomach ache. Being Dr. Doolittle's only remaining human patient, Dr. Doolittle was able to see him right away. I had been sitting on the windowsill in deep thought about how I could help Dr. Doolittle solve his problem of having lots of animals and very little money. There just didn't seem to be a solution. I heard the cat's meat man ask, why don't you give up being a people's doctor and be an animal doctor? All right, this looks pretty good, but I do see a place where I think a transitional phrase here would really help my readers. So before the sentence, Dr. Doolittle had a visit from the cat's meat man, I'd like to add, everything changed on the day Dr. Doolittle had a visit from the cat's meat man. 
This will help my readers transition into this new paragraph and let them know that things are changing. In this second paragraph, I would like to add another transition word and I just wanna put the word then in front of hearing the cat's meat man asking that question. And that is because it brings our readers out of Polynesia's thoughts and into Dr. Doolittle and the cat's meat man's conversation. All right, let's look at our third box. We talked about Polynesia deciding to encourage Dr. Doolittle to be an animal doctor. And I'm going to put that into paragraphs. The cat's meat man told Dr. Doolittle that he would be a great animal doctor, but Dr. Doolittle didn't seem convinced. I knew what I had to do. This idea could help Dr. Doolittle and all of his animals. I had to convince him to be an animal doctor. But what could I say to convince him? I thought, this idea could help Dr. Doolittle and all of his animals. I had to convince him to be an animal doctor. But what could I say to convince him? Okay, I think there's another place we can add a transitional phrase and we'll put it before this first paragraph. We could say, Dr. Doolittle and the cat's meat man's conversation continued. And that'll just give our readers that idea that the story is moving on. All right, let's look at our final box. We talked about Polynesia telling Dr. Doolittle about animal languages and him deciding to become an animal doctor. So in these paragraphs, I need to tell what happened next and I'm gonna use dialogue to show the interaction between Dr. Doolittle and Polynesia and that interaction that leads to her telling him about animal communication and ultimately him becoming an animal doctor. I waited until the cat's meat man left and flew to the table where Dr. Doolittle was sitting. I said, that man's got sense. That's what you ought to do, be an animal doctor. Oh, there are plenty of animal doctors, said Dr. Doolittle dismissing the idea. Dr. Doolittle was going to need more convincing if he was to ever agree to this idea. It was time to tell him about animal communication. Dr. Doolittle, do you know that animals can talk, I ask? And not just parrots, all animals have languages we use to communicate. Dr. Doolittle was shocked. At last, he seemed to be interested in the idea of working with animals. This is the story of how Dr. Doolittle changed from my point of view. Now we have our rough draft. And in the writing process, we have our rough draft. And in our next step, we are gonna continue to work on our draft and revise. In this lesson, first, we reread the sequence of events you planned on your graphic organizer. Then, think what actions and descriptions of actions, thoughts, and feelings can I include to develop the sequence of events. And finally, write the sequence of events, including actions and descriptions. In this lesson, you have learned how to write a narrative reading response that has events that make sense by writing the events of the story in the correct order.